Two conflicting sides of the Jonathan Majors abuse allegations. Welcome to Access Hollywood. I'm Mario Lopez, and the Creed 3 star was arrested in March on domestic violence charges. And as more victims have reportedly come forward, his team doubles down on claims his accuser is lying. I'm a lone wolf. You know, I try to keep it, you know, solo dolo. Access has obtained the security footage, which Major's attorney claims shows the alleged victim drinking at a bar and clubbing after the alleged incident, where she claims Major's assaulted her. Major's claiming the images prove she was unharmed. Attorney Misty Maris, who is not connected with the case, breaks it down. Attorneys claim that the alleged victim was caught on camera without any of the injuries that she claims. No laceration to the ear, no injury to the finger, and no injury to the neck. Majors' attorneys now claims to the court this is, quote, irrefutable evidence that Mr. Majors is innocent. The Creed Three star, a graduate of the Yale Drama School, was arrested on March 25th and charged with assault and harassment. His accuser claiming to police that she had, quote, sustained minor injuries to her head and neck. But just as Major states his defense, comes a huge possible development against Jonathan. Variety is reporting that following Major's arrest, multiple other alleged abuse victims have come forward and are reportedly cooperating with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. This coming on the heels of Major's publicists and management dropping him earlier this week. The prospect of more women coming forward with similar allegations for Jonathan Majors could be totally devastating. There's going to be looking at whether or not this person has a propensity to commit this type of act. It's called a modus operandi. In New York, the statute of limitations for a felony assault is five years. So some of these allegations could be going back a significant period of time. Broadway actor Tim Nikolai, who claims in Variety he's close with people who Majors has already allegedly harmed, reportedly posted this on Twitter following the arrest. Quote, folks at Yale in the broader New York City community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and abuser, and that is how virtually everyone speaks about him. It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. And just for the record, Majors has denied the additional abuse allegations. He'll be in court May 8th to face the charges.